Florida town leaders say the town is making progress on its sewer system to comply with the state's mandate. But one couple says they are moving away anyway. News 18's Brittany Tyner reports they are making the necessary replacement from clay pipes to PVC ones, but then they're leaving. Brittany? Dan, earlier this month, News 18 talked to a couple who was given a minimum estimate of $13,000 to replace their pipes. They say they've received a cheaper estimate, but it's still time to pack up and move. I don't want to stay here. I have no desire to just live in this town anymore. News 18 first caught up with Donna and Howard Bigler on September 8th at a Florida Town Council meeting. The couple, along with 91 other homeowners, received a letter in April saying they have to update their sewer pipes from clay to PVC pipes as part of a town ordinance. The letter said residents had until the end of September. Donna said the lowest estimate they received from a contractor was $13,000. She says they have since found a better estimate. And we're just going to have to go ahead and do it. Reason is we want to sell the house and, you know, we're not going to be able to sell it until it's done. Town Council President Josh Ayers says the Indiana Department of Environmental Management was putting pressure on town leaders to make sure the town is in compliance. A $500,000 state grant allowed Flora to fix the main sewer line, but residents are responsible for their own lines. He says even though the original deadline has passed, he says there are no plans in the near future to fine anyone. No plans to fine anybody, so there's no worries there. We just want to move forward, just gently nudge people in that direction. Ayers says nine out of the 92 residents have replaced their pipes. Seven residents have written letters, like the town asked earlier in September, saying they are working to finance the project. He says even that's progress. We want to work with everyone. So as long as we're moving forward, you know, I, I'm going to be happy. And I think IDEM will be happy. And ultimately, that's what we want. The town is on a sewer ban because the sewer system is taking in too much water. Air says IDEM says the town will need fewer than 10 overflows in a year. Meanwhile, the Biglers say they hope sure. they are long gone. It, it doesn't look like there's any help for any of us. So why beat a dead horse? Josh Ayers says the next step for the sewer projects will be to study and review. There will be a town council meeting Monday. The Biglers plan on bringing up the issue and discussing the ordinance. Brittany Tyner, News 18.